All right, we are back on the grind. It's Saturday and it's time for my weekend workout. I like working out on weekends. Why? Because it's like you showing up on the office, in the office on the weekends. It's more casual. There's less people that show up, so you got more room to breathe and you can like play around. You can experiment with things. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, those are the busiest times in any gym that you walk into because that's where you know, most people work out after work or after school. They, they follow their set regimen, right? So it, it's less flexible. It's harder to work around these people. So weekends, I can play around, I can experiment with things, I can breathe. So this is my fun time. Most people, weekends, they're partying, watching TV, Netflix, going out on dates, clubbing, going to events, sports, whatever, okay? Good, go do your thing, okay? But Saturday, Sunday is like when I can play around, have fun, my own fun time okay so um, previous video someone mentioned how to get over a breakup or how to process a breakup good question because I am an expert on breakups and relationships so I'll give you my take on it here's my take men and women process breakups different that's the first thing you should know women treat a breakup like losing a job they cry over it you know getting fired being laid off but they get over it pretty quickly because they get hired again they, they take on another job a week a few weeks or a month later they get hired and they have a new boss okay getting a new boyfriend for a girl for a woman is like getting a new boss Okay. So they get fired from one place or they leave a job and they go to a better job they find a better boss or a worse boss okay but again they're always in demand they always get hired they can always find a new job men on the other hand they treat breakups like losing a daughter <laughs> If you know anything about losing a girlfriend, breaking up with someone you really love, guys, you know, it's like losing a daughter. Let me explain for those of you who are not aware. When you have a girlfriend, a long-term girlfriend, it's like you're raising a daughter. You gotta protect her from other men. You gotta protect her from danger. You have to nurture her, you have to take care of her. A lot of bad things can happen to her and you're in charge of the situation okay you play with her you spend time with her you spend money on her you spend your energy women need three things from men time money and energy and I know you're saying oh some women are gold diggers Justin yeah they don't need money they have their own money I hope the girl has a job or a career. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are exceptions. But most of the time, women need three things from men. It's time, money, and energy. Maybe not in equal proportions, but they need time, money, and energy. Maybe she won't need money from you now, in the beginning of the relationship, but when a baby comes in to the picture, yeah, you're gonna need money, okay? Money, 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 money. Okay, so just be aware of that. Time, money, and energy. So you're raising your daughter, right? Spending time, money, and energy on her. When you lose that daughter, imagine if your daughter died. Your young daughter. How do you grieve? How do you deal with it? It's just. Of course, you're, you're, you're crushed. 
You gotta move on. Everyone says move on. Yeah, find a new girl. It's not that easy. It's not like women, like, you know, when they break up. When women break up, again, they lose a job. They cry over it in a day and then they get, they go into the club. They hang out with their girlfriends. They hook up with another guy easily. They get a new job within a week or a month. Okay, easy. They move on quicker. That's their survival mode. Okay, that's how women are. Behave. But man, when you lose a daughter, you lose a daughter, like she dies, you, you, use a, you gotta process that and it takes a long time. Several months, years. I don't care how thick skinned you are, how cold blooded you are. If you really love your daughter, it's gonna take a long time to get over her, her loss. Get a new girlfriend. I don't know. If you get a new girlfriend within a week, you haven't. It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. You need time to grieve over the death of your your first daughter. You just you just have to. Which is why I am doing what I'm doing right now. I am on the grind. If you're a guy, you need to be on the grind. Focus on the grind. Because when you get good at something, there are more opportunities for you. Okay? When celebrities, male celebrities, break up, they have a pool of women to choose from. Like, look, look at Leonardo DiCaprio. I, th I think of him as a good example for men to follow, actually. <laughs> because Leo did the grind. I remember watching... I watched Leo when he first started his career. I, I, I was that young. Like, I watched him when he was on Growing Pains, the TV show. And I watched him grow, you know, Work on his crab, get up and walk the city in Gilbert Grape, Romeo and Juliet. I saw all that, and then he went up to Titanic and all that fame. I saw him from nothing to where he is now. He did the grind, it did a long grind, and paid off. Look, he's got the money, he's got the fame, now he can choose any girl he wants. And if he breaks up with them, a new girl shows up easily. Easily. Okay? Men, if you don't have that option in your life, then you gotta keep grinding. You have to keep grinding or else it's just gonna get harder. It's harder and harder. Like, what are you gonna do, go on Tinder? No way. Never go on Tinder, especially if you're a guy. Never go on Tinder. I don't care what you do with your Tinder profile. You get professional photos, you get like an expert to craft the perfect Tinder profile for you, the perfect writing, perfect everything. Again, you're a losing, you're in a losing battle. And I'll tell you why. Every time I see Every time I see a girl that's a mildly attractive on Tinder, I know how many guys are going to go after her you don't know guys the competition online an attractive a fairly attractive to attractive girl has all right you think like oh you're the only guy that she could probably be attracted to no way you've got thousands and thousands of men competing for her around the world uh, that's the problem with online dating. It's a global competition. Competing for one girl. And this is what I tell the guys that are interested in online dating. Set up a profile as a girl. Put an attractive photo, mildly attractive, semi-attractive, I don't care. Just a, put a picture of a girl. Random girl. Make a random profile as a girl. And then watch how your inbox gets flooded by guys from all around the world wanting to court you. 
it's that scary. And you, you've you seen this before. You probably, if you trust your girlfriend, if you have a girlfriend right now, like, ask her permission to check her Instagram inbox or Facebook inbox or Snapchat inbox. She's flooded, flooded with requests from guys all around the world wanting to get with her. You know it. So never compete for a girl online. So well, what do you do then? You go after you go after a girl offline. Okay. And how do you do that? You show up to some place repeatedly. Why do you think work workplace romances occur so frequently? It's because the guy and the girl show up to work every day. Okay, they build that trust, okay? They get a sense of that person, whether they speak to each other or not. You can see what a person is like if they show up every day. When I go to the gym, people get have a, an idea of what I'm like as a person, even if I don't speak to them. It's like, yeah, this guy shows up, and this is his behavior. So my advice to you guys is to go someplace and show up frequently, whatever it is. Okay, your workplace, a cafe, a gym, um, a classroom, someplace where people see you frequently and then they get a, an idea of what you're like in real life. They can, they can get a sense. To me, that's the best way to get to know someone. And you, as a guy, get a picture of what other people are like as well. I show up to the same gym every day. I show up to the same supermarket every day. I show up to the same, I don't know, park every day. You get a sense of the people that frequent that place, don't you? So you build that trust whether you know it or not. The worst thing you can do is to show up to random places once in a while where nobody gets a sense of who you are. So digital nomads, people that are traveling, it's fun, it's great to meet new people and seek new adventures and new places, but you haven't established any roots. Nobody knows who you are they can't get a sense like first impression yeah but first impressions beyond that you gotta show up frequently to some place look what I'm doing right now I've been showing up frequently on YouTube online for so many years you've got a sense of who I am whether you, even if you haven't met me in real life the way I'm talking to you the way I make my videos from now all the way to the past, right? You know, you have a sense of who I am. Even though you've never met me. You haven't had a conversation with me in real life. Don't you? They call that what, a parasocial relationship? So get your face out there. Make a YouTube channel, make a Instagram. Do something long-term, okay? is what I'm saying. Don't just drop in and show up. Like Tinder, how long? I, I don't know, any guy that does Tinder for like 10 years is, yeah, maybe that's a good long-term plan, but that, that sounds pathetic to me. But that's what I would do if I were to grind Tinder, <laughs> but I don't want to, that concept. No, thank you. Okay, so get up, guys, get offline. Get off those dating apps, okay? Just. Invest in a, a gym membership, I don't know, a CrossFit, martial arts, a boxing gym membership, something where you show up frequently, regularly, okay? Get a new job, find a new job if you have to, okay? Where people see you regularly. And you know what happens? Gradually over time, you develop friendships, you develop networks, and maybe you'll find a girlfriend. That's what happened to me, like, okay. One girl 
girlfriend I, I met working at the same summer camp. We worked at the same summer camp together for like two months. And then at the end of the camp, I asked her out. And she, be, she became my girlfriend like five, six years. It's that easy. You just fall into it. And then you're in a hurricane for five, six years. And then you get out of it and you're just like, what the hell happened? And then you lose a daughter and then you grieve. Some people say that to get over a, a girlfriend or a, or a relationship takes half of the time that you've invested with her. So, for example, if you were in a relationship with a girl for four years, it's going to take you about two years to completely get over her. I don't know if that's true, but I, I can agree that it will take a long time. Okay? And you're not going to be... You know if, you, if you've broken up with someone that you really loved. I'm not talking about like you dated for like a couple weeks. I'm talking about someone you've dated for years. A very long time. It's going to take a long time for you to recover as a guy. You're not going to be the same. People are, you're just going to have this chip on your shoulder. They call it like a villain arc. Okay? They, go, they say go to the gym and all that. Yeah, you're not going to be this... Who you... You're not going to be that nice, friendly guy, happy guy. Right? It's going to take you a long time to recover. So work on your grind. That's all I say. Okay, You don't have to work out. I mean, exercise is good for your body. It's good for your health. It's better than a, having a girlfriend, in my opinion. But you got to work on something. I don't know. Work on being a better chess player, a better hockey player, a better computer programmer. Be something good. You have to, as men, we need to be good at something. That's how we provide value into this world, right? Girls, they just provide value by their looks. But for guys, us guys, we need to provide value by, by what we do. Whatever it is that we do. Like Jim Carrey, he's got value as a comedian. He grinded that. Michael Jordan is a great basketball player, but he grinded that, he rejected that. Rejection and defeat, injuries, like overcoming injuries and overcoming obstacles. Like it's a Saturday for me. Like it's a nice sunny Saturday. And what am I doing? I'm going to the gym, okay? Other people would spend their Saturdays playing off, goofing off, playing video games. But me, I'm on the grind. I'm injured, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I'm not feeling good, my throat is sore, but I'm still showing up, no matter what. So, if your heart is broken, yeah, I feel for you. And I'm not going to say anything like, oh, move on. I hate when guys say that. We just move on. Move on, bro. Just find another girl. Go to the club. Hook up with someone. That's not going to work. It's, it's just short term. Just go get some alcohol. My preference is makgeolli. I love Korean makgeolli. It's Korean rice wine. It's, my, it's the only alcohol I drink. All right. I, I don't like hard alcohol. Okay, so try to stay away from, avoid hard alcohol, okay? If you have to drink alcohol, get over the pain, the loss of a girlfriend. Get some red wine, some good Chilean red wine. It's cheap Chilean red wine. It's like um, 10, 15 bucks a bottle, okay? Drink that for a week or so if you've just broken up with your girl. Or get some Korean makgeolli, okay? And yeah, work on the grind. And yeah, if you've just broken up, this is, if this is your first breakup, yeah, you, nothing's going to make sense. It's just like no, nothing can prepare you for losing your your young daughter if she dies. So yeah, don't don't listen to what anyone says. Okay, you just got to process this stuff internally. So, doing is the most important thing. 
is the key word. Just do, do something. Don't just sit there, think about her. Just do it. Do something. Grind. And st you can start now. And if you're still, if you're with a girl, if you're with your girlfriend, tell her you love her. Because any, any day she will leave you. Well, you will leave her or you will break up or things will go sour. It can happen at any time. You never know. So be aware, be self-aware of your situation, whether you're single or in a relationship. So I got to get to work now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Leave a comment down below for what do you want me to cover next, right? Bye.